Hello everyone, my name is Darius and today I'm going to talk about the Toyota Corolla. If you're not subscribed yet, then please subscribe to this channel in order to get notified when I post a new video. I usually post in the evening, five times a week, so stay tuned. Let's begin. The Toyota Corolla not only looks, but drives better than before. It still packs tons of values. Toyota has preserved the core values of the Corolla, while adding newfound driving fun to the mix too. The cabin receives a similar upgrade and doesn't look any more like a rental car, but more like a young family car. And when it comes to standard safety equipment, the new Corolla shames main luxury models. If you're enjoying losing your car in a crowded parking lot, previous generation Corolla were perfect to you. The anonymous styling of the Corolla has finally been replaced to a more appealing car that doesn't look cheap. The front end even looks a little bit aggressive thanks to the narrow headlights and the wide grille. But this is a handsome compact sedan or hatchback or you can even get it as a sport tourer and doesn't fade in the background anymore. The Corolla has small front pillars that don't impinge your view ahead. Here is something that uh, every Toyota shopper should know. This model comes with a lot of standard features. All trims have an automatic emergency braking, forward collision warning, lane departure alert, road edge detection, automatic high beams, and adaptive cruise control, and yes, the automatic transmission. As standard, the Toyota Corolla comes with a 1.8 liter engine, which produces with the help of the electric motor 122 brake horsepower. But I suggest you to upgrade to the 180 horsepower 2 liter gas engine, hybrid of course, that um, have better consumption on the highway. Regularly, both engines can average 4 liter per 100 km in the city which is great. And overall, you have a car that uh, pollutes less. The Corolla is still a solid value, even though it's not as cheap as it was in the past. These are the most important things that you should know when you're going to buy a Toyota Corolla. It's a great car, it's still a cheap car, and uh, it maintains value. I think that uh, you can miss with the Toyota Corolla. But I'm going to prepare you a diesel car that is really, really good. I think that uh, is an alternative for the Corolla if you don't like the hybrid system but uh, I still think that the Corolla is more reliable than that car. If you want to know about which car I'm going to talk about then subscribe to my channel and stay tuned. I will give you a hint. That car is really popular in Europe and I'll give you another hint. You will have to check it out. So that being said, please like this video if you liked it. Please comment in the comment section and uh, let's have a chat. Don't forget to stay tuned. This was Darius. Have a great day. See you in the next episode. Bye.